Hey, all right, everybody. How is it going? Right. I got to fix this Nissan Aria. I got to get the parts done and I got to get it fixed. So let's start off with doing some wiring. Right. One of my first jobs. Well, it is my first job, I think. No, I've taken a few things off. I've taken the um, water bottle off. I'll have to buy a new one. I can't repair it. There's no point trying to repair it because if it leaks once the bumper's back on, it'll be terrible. Anyway, it's back to this. My first job here is this. Um, I did try and show in the last one. This one, this brown wire, has been damaged. I mean, you could put a bit of tape around it, but that's not a proper job, is it? So, I have got... Where have I got it? Let's put that there. I have got exactly the same connect there, look. It's the same one. If I turn around that way like that, turn that one around that way like that, it is the same connector. And down by there, look, there's the little bits and the thing to keep it um, waterproof. So I'm going to cut these wires off one by one and put them in this connector. Right, okay then, there we go. I got the new connector on. I don't know if you can see there. Let's put my hand there. There we go. And if you look down in there, we got the little bungs in there, the little sort of uh, rubber things there to stop the water going in, stop the ingress in the water. So there we go. Look, pointed that way there. You can see the metal things that are in there. So there we go. I'll put some insulation tape up here now and up to, the, up to there, like it was before. I got some black insulation tape. And that's that job done, fixed. Right, this is me, a little bit in the future, and that wire in there I just did, the blue and the brown wire are the wrong way round. <laughs> and I think it might be to do with, um, because I'm trying to film and do it at the same time, I've got a bit confused, <laughs> and I've put it the wrong way round. Now, um, that's going to cause me problems a little bit later on down in the line, because I've already put the bumper on, and it's difficult to try and do the wiring once the bumper's on, which means at some point further on in the future, I'm going to have to take the bumper off and check the wiring because there is a fault uh, with that parking sensor. It's not working. And I've tried two parking sensors, even with the, the wiring changed around the right way, unless it damaged the uh, actual module. I don't think it did because all the other parking sensors are working. You can touch them, you can feel them. Um, when you go and touch a part in sense, you can feel like a tap, 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 uh, but the one on the end is dead. And I think the wiring is uh, bust a little bit further on in the loom, but uh, I should have checked that before I put the bumper back on. Ooh. Right, I just got back from the Nissan dealer, bought this piece here, along here. That was a reasonable price, considering Nissan's is expensive. Um, but I wanted to put that on first of all. Um, because I have got parts coming, but some of the parts you can't get used online. You've got to just buy new. That's just the way it is because the car's so new. Um, but I put this on so I could see if the bumper was lining up. I'll, I'll show you what I mean now. I'll close the bumper. Bonnet, I mean, not bumper. I'll close the bonnet. Now, the bonnet is damaged by here, like that. But if you ignore the sun, if I push that down there, that gap there is... The same as that gap there it looks different because the sun is shining over here but it is the same trust me so i just wanted to see i'm trying to make sure if uh that bit there hadn't pushed back but it, it seems to be okay right i've just come back from nissan for the second time um i got this through the post this is the daytime uh daytime running light bracket i need two of these i ordered one from nissan but they said it's on back order and it could take four to six weeks so i can't put the bumper on until i get the second bracket um i managed to find this one online i can't find one anywhere i'm at the mercy of nissan and i got this goes inside the bumper this bit here and then let's put that by there 
I had ordered a water bottle and the water bottle actually came with the pump installed. Now, I went and ordered a pump from Nissan. I got to get a, try and get a refund because I didn't know it came with the actual pump as well. So it came with the pump. So there we go. That's that part as well. I'm going to put that on. I think that's a parking sensor in there. And I got a few more parts on order. And I got a bumper by there. It's a bit scratched up. It's used, but it's the right colour. And then I got a grill cue, which is used. I'll take this apart now because he said he can't even put it on back order. The front grill, he can't even put on back order. Um, you just can't get it. Uh, that's what he said. You can't get it. <laughs> so I've had to buy a used one, which is not ideal. I did want a, front, a new front grill, but there we go. So that it is problems. You see cars written off because it's really hard to get parts. Right, okay, there we go. That's the washer bottle all back in, installed lovely. So we've got a working washer bottle now with all the mounting points. I just got to put that top piece back in there, which wasn't broken. So I'll pop that back on in a minute. And there we go. Lovely. And that wasn't too bad. I think I was, with the motor, I think it was less than £50 for the whole thing. So I was quite surprised on the price of that. Now, I've also got this vent here. I had to buy this vent from Nissan as well. Couldn't find it anywhere. And there's a black piece by here. Under there, look there. I had to get that as well. I don't have to get stuff for the other side because the other, on the other side, it's on the car. So I can take it off the car and put it on the other side. But on this side, there was nothing left. So I had to get a new one of them. There's bits everywhere on this bumper. And I don't know if you can see the hole there. I got to get another bit to go in here to hold the parking sensor. So I'm just waiting on bits at the moment. Um, and the one bit that has scuppered everything is I got one of the brackets here. Let me get the bracket. Right, I got one bracket here. This is for the DRL. And this goes... Um, like that. Can you see that there? Let me get the camera in the right position. Somewhere by there. <laughs> it goes somewhere by there like that, right? That They come through there. They do come through there. I just can't do it with one hand. So that bracket goes there for the DRL. Then there's another bracket that goes there, which is different to this one. That's on back order. And it could be a four to six week wait. I cannot find one anywhere other than through Nissan. Can't find anywhere online to get this part. So I'm just waiting now. I can't put this bumper on until I got both of them. So I'm stuck in limbo land at the moment. Okay, so I've got some more pieces from Nissan. This is like putting a jigsaw together. So I've got the front radar uh, bracket. I think I showed I got the camera and the front light that goes on the grill. So all them pieces were missing. So it all adds up. <laughs> Buying the car with bits missing, I didn't realise how many bits were on the front of a Nissan uh, Aria bumper. Now, I just got another bit here as well. That little clip there, I had to get in there for the, what's it called? Parking sensor. Then there's another bit here. This bit here, look. I had to buy that as well. Just a little tiny bit. And that cost a lot, I did. That little black bit cost a lot. So there's loads of bits uh, you've got to get for the Nissan Aria. This bumper is just littered with bits. Bits, bits and more bits. Now, I'm waiting on the... Um, DRL inner left bracket. I got the outer left bracket on here. The inner left bracket is on back order. Now, this was on back order. This was on back order you, but it actually turned up two days later. So hopefully it won't take too long for the other bracket to turn up and we can put some bits back on the car then. So I managed to buy a used LED headlight for only £150, <laughs> which I thought was a bargain. Um, it had a few cracks in the back, but the guy's had a go at repairing himself. I wish he just left it alone, and the headlight's no good. If I turn around, if I turn around by here, I don't know if you can see because it's getting dark now, but he's had a good old go by here of repairing this bit here, look, okay? And the problem is, there's one of the mounts there, look, right? He advertised this as all the mounting points intact. I didn't care if it'd be a little bit of a a crack in the back by here. I could have welded on myself, but he's had a go. But the problem is, there's supposed to be another mounting point, but there, it's by 
Let me try and show you. Well, where, where I'm pointing now, but there somewhere, there's supposed to be another. But there, there's supposed to be another mountain point. <laughs> but it's not. And I've waited ten days for this to turn up, and it's just wasted my time. The other mountain point is there. Look, right? There's one. Uh, there's one down there. There's two. That one there. Three. Then there's supposed to be a fourth one there. Four, which goes onto the car. It's not there. It's nothing there at all. And you can't even fix it because he's melted it all. <laughs> so you don't even know where the mountain points are. So, there we go. The headlight actually does work. Uh, I tested it, but it's not good because it's, it's one mountain point there, one there. It's got to have two mountain points there because if I turn this around and try and show you it, under here, there, there and there, um, that's where part of the DRL is connected onto you, so it's got to be it's got to have the set, it's got to have the four mounts on it, otherwise it's no good. So there we go. So I got to send this back now. I don't know. Okay, so I've bought another part from Japan. This is the uh, fog light. It's a tiny fog light, but it's LED, and I think that's two hundred and eighty pound from the dealer, or two hundred and sixty pound with the VAT from the dealer. But I found this on eBay in Japan, and believe it or not, uh, if I showed you the tracking, the tracking, um, it went to the airport, I think it was DHL airport, on Monday, early hours Monday, and today is Wednesday. I'm not kidding you, it took two days to get from Japan to here. Two days! Now, it takes two days for a Nissan dealer to get a part from one of their uh, warehouses in the UK. So <laughs> Japan can get from, can from Japan to here within two days. And it looks brand new to me, so there we go. And I think it was, that was £80 cheaper. It was £80 cheaper for me to have this delivered from Japan than from the dealer in the UK. So there we go. And if, I don't know if you can see, but they look. I don't know if you can see, there's Japanese writing on the newspaper it was wrapped up in. There we go. Fantastic. And here's a bracket I've been waiting for for about 10 days, maybe 9 days, 8, eight 9, 10 days. Something like that. I can't, quite can't remember. They said it might be 4 to 6 weeks, but it's actually turned up. This was on back order, so it has turned up. This is the inner bracket, left left hand side, for the daytime, daytime running light. The only place I could get them was from Nissan. And these clips by here, these little clips. I think it was £11 for three. Uh, they're special type of clips for the fog light and one of the brackets that goes on the bumper. So that was on back order, but that's actually turned up. Now there's one part on the door, um, just on the door trim. I don't need that to get the car back on the road, but he said the only place they could get that from was Japan and it could take months and months. So I'm going to have to try and search for the one piece but that doesn't matter. I can put the rest of the car back together so I can use the car once I get these on the bumper. Right, so I'm under you. Just put the wheel arch liner on by here. You can see it there, down by there like that. Now, the down by here somewhere, in by there. That front drive shaft there is making a clicking noise when you turn it left or right, uh, when you're almost on full lock. So I'm gonna have to get one of them. The drive shaft itself, is £500 plus VAT and the end joint is £188 plus VAT so I'll try and see if I can get away with just the end joint. So it is raining but you can see I've got the bumper back on by there, there's the bumper on over there, you can still see that the bonnet, the bonnet did suffer some damage here and where it's been hit down by there it's lifted this up slightly here so it's out of line so I might have to, I don't know if that can be Take to a body shop and hit back up. It's aluminium, this bonnet is. Um, but it's sort of lifted this part of the bonnet up slightly. Um, bit of a mark there, and that needs to go in the body shop. Um, just needs a slight tweak, but there. Needs pulling out slightly. Um, but the line is good, and then the bumper's tweaked up by here. So there's the bumper on there. I'm getting soaking wet. This thing's on by here. Uh, all the cameras in and everything. So, uh, what am I waiting for? Oh, the only thing I'm waiting for now is 
there's a little plastic piece that goes up up under the and not this not this i got this uh wee larch thing there's a bit like a air defender or something is called it goes up under there i gotta wait i'm waiting from uh nissan it should be there next week because it's it's easter easter weekend now isn't it so on um, this part up here see this part here there that bit there they can't get that part it's an order from japan so i don't know the bit i said i couldn't get has turned up i got this from uh glenn hopkins i think it's called glenn hopkins uh just online managed to get that online so there we go so i got the last bit that was missing now i don't know well you can see this by here but i've just done a scan of the car it's got abs fault six power steering fault two bcm nine Look, there's loads of faults everywhere on you. Look, look, loads and loads keep going down. And heat. these are all, everything's working on the car. So it might have been a low 12 volt battery at some point um, when the car was just sitting around, I expect. Um, I'm going to clear all these in a second. And I expect most of them uh, not to come back. The only one I've got on the dashboard down there is for the parking sensors. Everything else is working except the parking sensors. So I'm going to clear these and I'll come back and we'll see if everything disappears. Right, so there's the warning left on the dashboard there. If I go to one of one, it says system fault. So it gives you a warning of system fault. Then it gives you parking sensor fault. The camera is working there, look. There's the front camera. All you can see is a fence. <laughs> so the front camera is working. Um, you can... I think you can go through there's the side the side camera there's the front camera and that's off so it's camera back on so the camera's working big drip came down here then so that's the only warning i've got at the moment right okay so i have still got a fault with the parking sensor the bump is gonna have to come off at some point in the future um but at the moment it's the only car i got and i'm using the car um I've done about 100 miles. Car drives fine, other than when you put up the steer on a full lock, the CV joint is clicking, so I've got to change the CV joint um, and the parking sensor fault. It's also bringing up an ABS fault. It's not the ABS fault that's faulty, it's just the parking sensor uh, looks for speed from the ABS sensor, so when they're trying to communicate, it brings up a fault. Not a fault fault. <laughs> If that makes any sense but the modern technology uh the, the parking sensors are linked to the abs module i don't know why but they are um so other than that the car's driving fine um it still needs a little bit of body work uh but like i said at the moment uh, i've been without a car for a couple of weeks because i saw my other car i was fixing this car up I've been without a car for about three weeks and I do not like being without a car. So I'm going to drive this car around, get the CV joint fixed and I'll sort the other things out at a later date. Anyway, if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Ahoy!